Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Far Cry 5 where we just took out the cook. So, what else is out there? If I keep hitting the wrong button, we might get somewhere. You know what? Let's go take care of this weirdo. Um, I guess I just don't. Did I not set it? Apparently I didn't set it. But I did set it. Okay, fine. We're going this way. <laughs> you coming or what? Yep, okay, good. So there was a helichopper that just flew over. I want to know what that is. Oh. Guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Interesting. Anybody else want to mess with me? I mean, I'm not very good at shooting, but we could try it. So that goes that way. And then there's another one, like, right down the road. Oh, must be that one side mission. Got it. All right. Now, where was this thing at? It was, like, up on this hill here. Or at least I think it was. Come on. Hang in a better spot. Train, kill, sacrifice. Watch my ass! Move it! A skunk. You kid? Oh. Oh, hey, bud. Where'd you come from? Hope you found something good. Sometimes. That's a little bit of a steep hill here. But what is this? Good. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right. They're still after me, I know. Or I know it. I was able to escape when they weren't looking, but it's only a matter of time before they track me down. I was able to gather some supplies, but my leg hurts so much I can't stand on it anymore. I'm going to try to and flag down some help in the morning. Wish me luck. Not exactly sure why you would write that down. Huh? Oh, hi. What's that noise? That's... Because there's a, there's a skunk and a bear and a everything else. Did, did, did you not get the skunk or anything? It normally all it takes is one shot to the ass. There was something. There's so many things to do in this game, you know, you, you get sidetracked. Oh, hey, bud. How's it going? What kind of sick mind comes up with these things? Those are difficult to get, that's for sure. Damp, if you find yourself running low on funds, the best way to make a quick buck 
practice to go hunting. There's a lot of folks out there who'll pay good money for meat and skins. Well, not seeing anybody, but. Anything here? Did okay at time. Yeah. All right, let's get somewhere. We're wasting time. That's what we're doing. Good eye. Interesting. Okay, time to go. Feels like my training kicked in, okay? We all starve if it's up to the cold. Gotta know how to hunt your own food. You got the look of a hunter in your eye. That's good. The way things are going, you gotta be able to fend for yourself. This fucking cult. Everyone rolled their eyes when they talked about the end of the world. But look around. Might as well be true. Rule of law is dead and gone. There ain't nobody protecting us anymore, so we gotta do it ourselves. Only thing that matters is staying alive and staying fed. Now, I got a few things for sale if you're interested. Ammo, gear, useful stuff in times like these. And if you got any animal skins, I'll pay good money for them. Saves me time from going out myself. World's a dangerous place now. If you see any of those fucking Peggies, you put them down without a second thought. Okay. There you go. Let's see. Can I buy anything cool? Too rich for my blood, that's what that is. It'd be pretty cool if we uh, got to get some new guns, but we ain't got no money. No money yet. Interesting. Oh, you know what? Let's let's buy some ammo first because I forget about this stuff. Okay, let's go. No one comes out of that damn chair the same. Jacob's really taking a toll on the whitetail ranks. Won't you let me connect? There it is. <laughs> Seemed like that was a good idea to do. Sound like a deer or something. Oh, he's running around. Interesting. On the move.
I try. Take that out since we're here. With those Peggy's controlling the radar station, we can't move an inch without them on our ass. We need to go down there and shut them down. You with me? You're the one that's been helping out, right? The one that's been helping out. I'm the one that has been doing everything. Get the next one. Do you? Because you're you're always late. All right. Let's see what this fella has to say, huh? you'd be taller you a registered voter ah don't matter i need help of a different sort let's get to the point you see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying that's my loin fruit hurt jr dumber than a coal bucket he takes after his mama stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck nancy so named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama-loving libtars find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land, and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red-blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. Help numbnuts get my truck back. So I can start focusing on my campaign again. Junior! Someone's here to help you. Try not to fuck it up. I guess so. Hey, Migo. Ah, uh, hey, man, I'm sorry. I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I, I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies dude or bro or man, you know, regardless of vegetalia or penile-ness-ness. Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? Dang, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose heart hangs in heaven. 
Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth, the Monkey King, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Let's make dust before the old man starts shooting. He's hotter than a ghost pepper these days. I guess. Santa Run's been real stressful on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Doesn't even have time to cut out for a shit. Shit, man, I've been praying on this all day, man. I've been asking the Monkey King, all the baby Jesuses, even the little Valentine's one, just to send me a sign, man, and they sent me here. I'll tell you something, though, man. Getting that truck, it ain't gonna be easy. Damn cult's got it, man. Well, I'll be honest with you, it all started when, when I tried to join them. I mean, I mean, it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, they had all these guns, food, fine-ass females, and I mean, those are three things that I'm really all about. I mean, it seemed like one big party over there, you know? So I says, I said, hey, me, goes, where do I sign up? They said, sign up right here, friend. Then, <laughs> then they start listing off all their dang rules, man. No fornicating. Turns out that means fucking. No, no alcohol and no wild note partying, man. No thank you. So I got the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck out of there, man. Unfortunately, though, I forgot my daddy's truck. He's been real butt sore since, so I gotta get that truck. But you don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine-step plan to get this truck back. Step one, catch a day buzz off party line. Got that one covered. Step two, pray for someone else to solve my problem. Done. Step three is... Shit. Shit, I forget the rest, but... They'll come to me as soon as we go. Dang, you are a good listener, Boba Fett. My old man doesn't listen at all. I guess that's why I never feel heard. Me and him, we ain't getting along that well lately. Ever since he started running for office, he's been coming down on me real hard about everything. About my public intoxication, how I handle my firearms, stuff like that, man. But when we get his truck back from them Peggy's, he's gonna be real impressed, dude. He's gonna love me so much, and then my mom's gonna have to try and love me more so she can compete with how much he loves me, and then he'll see how much she's loving me, and then he'll try and love me even more, and then birthdays and Christmases, they're gonna be off the chain. This is the place. Thank goodness we're out of that. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm waiting for you. Thank you. More and more white tails are going. Holy Play your cards oh. right. I might let you in on a little something I've been cooking up. Okay then. I got your six. It's just kind of funny how we literally just hear this. Hold his breath for very long. All right. Looks like we're going hand to hand. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. We kicked ass. We like 
are here. Man, I love the theater. I really could have died. Okay, man, now it's time for step four. Truck's actually all the way down yonder. Probably more Excuse Peggy's me. waiting for us, too. It's all about the zip line, man. We gonna zip line in there, sneak up on them like ninjas. Well, I guess. Thing. But he'd be less of a moron. But here we are. It's so much fun, man. I won't come back later and do a buck naked. Finding a better spot. Feel that breeze on my paint. Oh boy. Gerardi, bro! Shut up! How do you get down from here? Guessing the ladder oh, yeah, that so I didn't no see. Kind of way that Eli's boys are gonna push Jacob out. Not without a quote, a uh -huh. fucking miracle, unquote. Goodness gracious. Nice work, Migo. Okay, step five. I, I didn't Let's do anything. Before more show up. What are you hiding? Okay. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Oh, man! Oh, man, we got trouble! Reach into that there cooler. See if we have any cans of whoop-ass left. And pass me a beer at this. Hey, 
buckaroo. Daddy! Daddy, check it out, dude! Nancy's back! I, I got her back! Would you look at that? Look Two at peas in a goddamn pod. Glad she's still in one piece. Well, deputy, you kept your word. You know, I did some thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of go-getter I need to get my ass in office. First task I've got is to take Junior with you wherever you go, so I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn monkey king no more. Second task is, uh, well, uh, let me think on it a bit. I'll get back to you. Yeah, not taking you and your son anywhere. Thing you learn, which bear? All right, what's next on the to do list? Because I'm sure we're not going to get it to do it. Uh, hope I want okay. So we need to free five more people. Got to go to Hope County Jail, Falls Inn. Interesting. So we got a bunch of things to do. Let's try to go there first, huh? I thought I saw an airplane on the water somewhere. I can't quite remember where that was. I want another thing. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, sign. Ah, so you can only have one. Dadgummit. Well, that kind of sucks. All right, catch you later. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we got captured instead. Oh hi. Again, just come out of nowhere. Be strong, not again. Yeah, I know you are in pain. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh, huh? You're not the only one to be tested. Did you know that I had a wife? So beautiful, isn't she? We were pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. I'm becoming a father, mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were gonna work out. She always had faith. And one day she was gonna go visit a friend. Hmm. There was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed him to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was gonna live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me uh, alone in the room with her. I just stared. 
got my daughter. So helpless and so innocent. And all she had in the world was me. Or nobody from nowhere with nothing. And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand on my little girl's head, and I leaned in, and I could smell her. And we prayed together, prayed for wisdom, prayed for strength. plan for me. And I took my fingers and I put them on that little plastic tube that was taped to her angelic face and I pinched it shut. Mm. And after a little while her legs began to kick in, kick in. And then nothing. Stillness. Release. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh. Pain, sacrifice, these are all part of his test. And we have to prove that we can serve God, no matter what he asks. You've done well. That was easier than last time.
are we? That's what I want to know. Okay, so we're up here. What seems like in the middle of nowhere. Got it. Well, they made us closer to uh, where we wanted to go, so that's always a plus. Deputy, see lie. Just checking in. Nobody's seen you in a while. Whitetails could really use your help out there. Pop by the wolf stand if you get the chance. We got a lot of work to do. Oh, shit. Here, I thought that was Cheesebugger the whole time. It happened to be you. Hey, Cheeseburger, how you doing, bud? Can I pet you? Oh, I can pet you. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah. Choose the wrong side. That's what you get. It would be really nice to have a helicopter or something. Just, just throwing that out there. Cheeseburger. Let's look at this and see what's up. You have to understand, we couldn't, or we just couldn't wait any longer. Those damn Eden Gates people came again. And we knew this was our last chance to get out of here alive. Remember this place we talked about? If we could make it past the checkpoints, that's where we'll meet up. I pray to God you're okay. We'll see you soon. Okay, but where are you going? Let's see, so I did this, yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Maybe that would come in handy eventually. Alright, cheeseburger. Let's get out of here. How majestic he is, you know, just run along. Mind his own P's and Q's. Oh, I missed. Oh, missed again. Heck, come on. Hey, don't shoot my ba bear. Did 
He shot my bear. It's all right, you bugger. You're all right. All right, tell me what you know. I was there when the police drove that car right off the road and over the falls. They must have been carrying something pretty important, because those damn Peggy's were real interested in getting down there. Okay, where's that at? Right there. We'll get that a little later. Right now we have to go liberate a cult outpost. Seems like more helicopters are flying. say about this to all you so-called white tail militia this is your final warning we have or we have been tolerant of your presence but the father has or only has so much patience for unbelievers you can try to hide in your cabbage but we will find you either you join us of your own free will or we or you will be butchered one by one i think we took care of him so i don't think we have to worry about that anymore See, you come in here. Get him, kid bugger. What's in here? Holy moly. Got a gun there. Got a bunch of food there. Got another gun there. Holy moly. Oh, they were prepped and ready to go, I can say that. Alright, let's go, cheese bugger. I almost shot you. Cheers, bugger, you stay. else is here too.
Judges no longer share the unfiltered, crippling traits of their brethren. No. Their desire has been distilled. Anybody else? I do actually want him back. Yep. Coming in, sinner! Just so that he can pick up all the stuff. <laughs> that was awesome. Dollar bonus right there. Tell you, some of the white tails, well, some of them weren't so sure about bringing you on board. I want to sell my stuff first. Thank you. They're sure now. Not because of anything I said, but because of what you've done. Actions speak louder than words. People are coming from all over to join the white tails. You're giving them hope again. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. Cool. That stuff you asked me to hold on to, it's locked up in the radio room. It's the only, only place I thought would be safe. Just come find me if you need the key. That is not what I wanted. Oh, interact. Anyone there? Look, we were expecting another delivery of judges at the Fang Center, and it hasn't come yet. If you don't have enough, we'll send more hunting parties out to get more work. But don't just leave it hanging like this. Jacob's gonna be good if he doesn't get full train judges like you asked for. This shit here is gruesome. Well, then you better get a more, uh, more wolves for judges. Need to cover you. We we own this now. But what are you in conflict with? What are What's you, up, dude? What are you doing? These woods are crawling with Peggy's. We better make sure Dansky's still got that stuff he's been keeping for us, Whitetails. Okay. Guns, watch. In a better spot. So theoretically, there should be a key somewhere. Here, I think.
Gotta get some more air in here, you know? A little musty. But anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me in this episode. Been about an hour. Don't want to get anything too crazy going on. So, if you guys been liking this series, don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe down below. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Andy Wall. Take care. As everybody loses their minds. Cover me, I'm going in.